Harry Sydney FC on the weekend. Of course, you're still looking for your first win. What are you expecting? Yeah, I think it'll be a tough game. Um, you know, they're in some good form at the moment, um, but we're, we're hungry for our first win of the season, so I think it'll be a really good game. How's it been starting? Of course, nothing down to anything besides work being done here, but starting off with three away games in the trial, so they've been difficult. Oh, yes and no. Obviously, we'd like to play at home, um, but it's just a normal game to us. Um, you know, whether we travel or we come to Coopers, uh, we always want to get that three points, so yeah, not really much difference. Is it crucial to get a win this week, considering at the start of the season when I think the club looked at these first three games, they sort of identified, walked away with at least four to six points out yeah. of those three. Is it kind of, not in pivotal and important, but does it have a bit of extra meaning to try and get that win just to sort of round out that first three games of the season? I think we, we want to get a win probably the first six games, you know, obviously the World Cup break. I think it's imp important to pick up as many points as we can um, as possible, especially, you know, we've got a bit of a break. Um, you know, like I said, coming up in the World Cup. So I think to pick up maximum points before that break is, I think, very important for every team. So I think that's what we're, we're looking forward to as well. How do you feel like coming against the, your old teams? Have there been any texts, any banter, just online or between yourselves? No, nah, I haven't really spoken to any of the boys. Um, you know, I try and focus on what my job here at Adelaide is, and that is to get three points. Um, so that's, uh, that's probably the most important thing. Have you ever played a game against a former team of yours before? Uh, not in the A-League, so this will be my first time. Has it been disruptive at all, flying in, you know, preparing and then flying out again and, and those Sunday games? That, is it um, no, I don't think so. I think, you know, boys travel a lot in the A-League, you know, we've got a pretty experienced team, um, so the boys will be used to it. Do you get a Carl's here this week and say, look, it's, it's my old team, Gaffer giving me the stuff? <laughs> no, I don't think so, man. It's up to him, um, you know. I just got to put my, my best foot forward for the team and if, uh, if I start or if I don't, you know, it's whatever's best for the team at the end of the day. It's uh, you're relatively new to the problem, it's not your fault, but uh, what's, it's been a recurring thing for a few years now that the inability to convert chances into goals, what, what's been the, the sort of key message from, from the coaches this week? You know, just probably be a bit more ruthless in front of goal. I think last week, you know, was a probably good example of you know, we weren't ruthless enough and also maybe the board didn't bounce our way, you know, a few, we hit the net three times, you know, and um, I think, you know, a crucial thing, maybe one of them was offside if we, we don't go so early or something like that. Um, but, you know, I think we were a bit unlucky last week not to get at least a point out of the game. Um, I think, you know, it's, it'll, it'll come together for us and I think it's a, only a matter of time. So how important then is it to, to identify that you are creating those opportunities and, and that it will come and, and not to panic? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's very important. You know, we've got Goody back as well. That was his first start back and, you know, you already saw he created two or three chances and that was his first game back since he's been injured. So I think once he gets a few games under his belt, you know, we'll be, we'll be powering through and getting three points, I think, no doubt. How much is he a talisman for you guys when the first game where he came off the bench it really looked like he sort of kicked on another year once he came on? How important is he to yeah, he's, create Yeah, so he's a massive, massive um, part of our team. You know, he... He creates so many opportunities for us and he's such a good leader for us off the field as well, you know, for us young boys to look up to, to, you know, try and aspire, be like him, you know, he's pushing for a World Cup, you know. So um, for us young boys, it's really good to have a player like that in the team to, you know, try and be like him in a couple of years' time. Is there a fine line between being too ruthless and being too selfish in terms of you talk about creating chances and being ruthless, is being a bit more aggressive and taking it upon yourself? Is it a fine line for players? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, there's that if you're going to score, but if there's a player in a better position, you know, obviously play it to them. Um, but, you know, I think we just probably should be more ruthless, you know. That's probably the main thing this week. Um, how's the team sort of responded to, to Zach's injury this week? That's um, a fair old setback for someone who's been, been quite yeah. unlucky. Have you sort of had to get around him a bit? Yeah, I spoke to him the other day, you know, it's not, it's not ideal for Zach. He had an unreal pre-season, you know, he was really firing, looking really fit. Um, and, you know, it's a big season for him. And, you know, look, I think the World Cup break will help him, you know. It gives him a bit more time to, you know, um, come back and he won't miss so much. So if we can get Zach back in the team as soon as possible, I think that'll be a massive bonus too because he's, you know, such an experienced player. He's played at one of the highest levels, you know, championship. Um, and he, he knows how to play. So he's, he's a totally quality player that we, we need definitely back in the squad. You've got plenty of competition at right back, of course, with Harvey as well. How's that been learning from him? Yeah, it's unreal. You know, Harvey's, he's so good, man. Uh, he's so good to learn off and just to watch him in training. It's a, it's a pleasure. Um, and, you know, I carpool with him, him and Juan Day and uh, James Dillinoff on the way to training. We always have good chats, you know, and he's always giving me positive feedback, whether it's, um, you know, a thing I can tweak a little bit in my game or what I'm doing well is. So, yeah, Harvey's a really good mentor for me. Does he sound much Spanish? <laughs> uh, not much. Probably just C. <laughs> What's the, that's a, a fair amount of 
nice and size in that car. What is it? What are you driving? Is it? <laughs> All this morning we went in my i30, so I had to push the seat a bit forward just to give the boys a bit of legroom in the back. But usually we go in Delhi's uh, Mitsubishi.